Good afternoon, Albany. Oh, it's a better afternoon than that. Good afternoon, Albany. Let's have a big round of applause for our Chancellor, Nancy Zimfer. Isn't she great? I also want to recognize our resident genius, who is responsible for so much of the progress today, Professor Alain Calleros. Let's give him a big round of applause. We have the chairman of the SUNY system, Chairman Carl McCall. Let's give him a round of applause. My colleagues on, from the state government were joined by Assemblyman Sheldon Silver. Shelley's here. We have Democratic Assemblymen who were here with us. Let's give them a round of applause. Senator Roy McDonald and Senator Neil Breslin, thank you very much for being with us. <laughs> Congressman Chris Gibson and Congressman Paul Tank Tonko, thank you very much. And our host mayor, Mayor Jerry Jennings. Pleasure to be with you, Jerry. It is truly my honor to welcome back President Obama to his third visit to the Capital District region. Let's give him a round of applause. I'll tell you, the President has been coming to Albany so often that the rest of the state is going to get jealous at this rate. And also, welcome to this magnificent new Albany Nanotech complex. Isn't it really great? It really is. <laughs> to begin with, Mr. President, there is no doubt that this nation, this state, went through hard times. The 2008 financial meltdown and the housing crisis really did take its toll on the state of New York. We felt the economic pain from one end of this state to the other. We felt the pain deeply, and the pain lingered. But, Mr. President, there is also no doubt that today is a much different day, and that your leadership has brought this nation through the storm, and we thank you. Mr. President, we are on the other side, and we are building a new New York, and it is working because this New York is open for business. And you see it all across the state. We're opening no, new yogurt plants in Johnstown. We are making electric trucks in the Bronx and railway cars in the North Country. And we're manufacturing again. We are making the next generation of semiconductors, nanotechnology, right here in Albany. Mr. President, this is the type of public-private sector partnership that you advocate and that you have been talking about. This is an exciting and powerful consortium of the biggest private sector names in the computing world. Intel, IBM, Samsung, TSMC, Global Foundries, facilitated by government and working in partnership with our state university system. That is the winning combination. We are building semiconductors made in the USA and exported all around the world. Doesn't that sound great? <laughs> Mr. President, Albany is where the Hudson River meets the Great Erie Canal, the 1817 innovation that made New York the global marketplace that it is and drove the nation's west
to commerce. The Erie Canal drove our economy. As we look to the next economic driver, it is fitting that nanotech is birthed at this very same junction. The future will be made right here again, and we are proud of it. <laughs> Mr. President, with your help, New York is not just building back to where we were before the recession. We are building back to a better, stronger, and safer place than this state has ever been before. Because we agree with you, Mr. President, the best is yet to be for this nation and for this great state. And Mr. President, I can promise you this. Because of your late leadership, this state is not going backwards, Mr. President. This state is going forward. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving a great Empire State welcome to the great President of the United States, President Barack Obama.